Hey guys, so this is my product review for a cable pulley system for home gyms, for garage gyms, or even for just a functional fitness space like this that's looking to save uh, room and not fill it with lots of machines. So what is a cable pulley system? Well, it's basically a cheaper, more cost-effective alternative to a traditional cable stack machine. Uh, there's lots of ways it can be used. I'm gonna go through some of them now. First of all though, let's look what's included in the pack. So this is everything that was included in the cable pulley system that I purchased. Here's your pulley. I think this is probably the most important piece. Um, this has been super smooth for me. I think it's got a metal center. Um, so watch out for some of the plastic ones um, because this has worked really well, no complaints. Um, another key piece is this little strap here. This is what will go over the top of your bar and the pulley will actually hook onto that. Uh, and then this is where you put the load. So uh, for this one, I've got quite a thin one and I think you can fit the one inch home gym plates on there or you can also fit the Olympic plates, which is what I tend to use. I've also tried out putting a kettlebell handle over the top and that works fine. Um, but if you are putting it down on the floor, it might rock a little bit. Um, this is a great piece. Uh, this is one of the reasons I actually purchased the pack I got over others, was it has a commercial tricep extension attachment with it, uh, rather than one of the fabric ones that a lot of packs have. However, you could definitely just purchase one of these separately. I'll put a link in the description to some uh, high quality uh, commercial attachments that will fit. Um, for this video, so check that out as well if you fancy buying a different pulley system and buying your attachments separately. Um, for example, I will probably purchase a new bar like this, because this one, I would like this center bit to rotate, which is a limiting factor on this. However, uh, the pulley system on the whole looked good, so I thought I could always purchase a better bar. This is the cable. This is another thing that will determine which one you buy. Um, because the cable length is important to the uh, height thing you're gonna attach the pulley to. I used a 1.8 meter cable, so that means it can come from the floor through the top of the pulley and back down and still have room for me uh, to do exercises. So you can get longer cables if needed. And then I got these double handle attachments uh, with a single carabiner. I will split these as well and use them as single arms. So I got a lot of attachments with my kit, but you can just buy the base pulley and cables and then buy your attachments separately. So I'm just gonna show you how to set it up. So if you take the little strap and the pulley, you hook that over, I'm using a squat rack, but it could be any solid bar. You're just gonna hook that on there and then I'm gonna take the weight plate. Uh, I'll just put some weight on it. So I use the Olympic plates, but you could put a kettlebell or anything really that fits over there. And now you'll see why the cable length is fairly important. So if I thread this through the top, pull down to clip it on. Once it's clipped in, there has to at least be a little bit of slack here. Um, so if you measure the length from the floor, it doesn't have to be all the way to the bar because there is a bit of a gap, and then make sure you've got a bit of excess over the top. So if I show you the tricep extension attachment, we'll just hook that on, and then we're good to go. So if you make sure it's nice and central before you lift, it won't swing, and you get a nice smooth action on the pulley. So these cable pulley systems are cost-effective and space-efficient alternatives to the cable stack machines you'll often see in uh, larger, more commercial gyms. Um, they're ideal uh, for maintaining time under tension when doing a set, uh, which is the advantage over some dumbbell exercises where you'll have a different strength curve. So using the lap pullover as an example, um, there's gonna be a disproportionate uh, resistance on the dumbbell um, from the top of the movement to the end. So some parts of this exercise are gonna be very difficult and some parts are gonna be really hard. So right now, it's very easy, very easy, even now. And then when it gets to about here, it feels extremely difficult. And as a pullover, it's easy again. There's nothing going on really um, that's challenging me. So the issue with some exercises 
is that the time under tension is not consistent or the force throughout is not consistent and just mechanically some parts of the um, exercise are just mechanically way more difficult than other parts. So to use this as an example, I'm gonna do a lap pull over or pull down um, with these handles. So I've got a fair bit of resistance and it feels pretty smooth and pretty difficult right the way through the range of motion all the way to the back. So it's not easy here it's not easy halfway and it's definitely not easy back there. So I'm getting a more consistent strength curve throughout the movement. And this applies to other exercises as well. Just to give you a few other ideas of what else you could do with this, I'll show you some exercises. So I've got this single arm pull down. So if you've only got one uh, cable set up, it can be tricky to do some of the bicep exercises that you might be used to doing. Um, if you wanted to do a standing curl, really you need another cable that you can attach to the bottom um, and you'd need something solid. However, if you just wanna buy one, I'll show you some bicep exercises that work really well for me without having to bother with a slightly more complicated setup and two cables. I won't go into that now, but you could look into that option. So I quite like this lying cable floor, um, floor curl. Just make sure the plate's not too close to you uh, to avoid anything getting squashed. So lying on your back, I've got the double handle attachment. I'm gonna curl little fingers towards my temples and then extend. I find this a really effective pump on the bicep, getting some blood flowing to it. And it feels pretty smooth as well. Um, I'll give you a demo of another one. So you just curl towards your temple, keeping your chest nice and open. This is fairly heavy for me, but you can get a really good workout by doing this variation as well. So let's go through some of the pros and cons for these cable pulley systems for the home gyms. Uh, they're very easy to use, very easy to set up, um, very space efficient, uh, and they're very budget friendly. So they're definitely some of the main um, benefits. Also, they do give you a variety of exercise options that you wouldn't otherwise have with dumbbells or barbells alone. And, uh, the types of exercises that they're going to allow you to do may even be superior to some of the dumbbell and barbell work you were doing. For example, when you're trying to maintain a more even strength curve and time under tension, as I talked about before. Now the cons, there are definitely cons to it. Uh, sometimes they come with cheap attachments um, and you might want to buy uh, more commercial attachments to clip on. Um, they will be able to fit. If it clips on a carabiner, it will clip onto one of these. Um, they're also, they can be a bit of swinging when you're doing exercises without control back and forth. I don't find it a problem. I have found with clients who aren't maintaining proper form that the weights can swing a little bit more. And another thing to consider is, do you have the weights to actually stack on to whatever um, attachment you have on the bottom? So make sure uh, whichever pulley you buy matches whatever you're planning on using as your load. Um, so do you have one inch plates do you have the commercial plates or are you just going to hook a kettlebell or something over the top? Um, a few things to consider there. However, I highly recommend this piece of kit. I'm going to buy another one uh, for my home gym as well. This is my studio Synergy Health and Performance. Uh, we've got one because we run yoga, Pilates and like to save space and keep a nice fresh clear environment as much as possible. So check out links in the descriptions. I've put a load of attachments that I recommend. They are affiliate links, but remember they don't cost you anything else just because it's an affiliate link. It just gives me a way to recommend the ones that I have or even the one that I've purchased. Please give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Let me know what you'd like to see more of. I do loads of follow along workouts if you want to join me for a workout. So check out my channel for then and I'll see you soon.